Rooibos tea. It is enjoyed by millions of South Africans every day. It has become an integral part of our way of life and is considered by many as our national beverage. This past month, the SA Rooibos Council set out to determine how consumption of this local favorite has changed in recent years by polling more than a thousand South Africans from diverse cultures and ages about the popular brew. According to the survey, Rooibos has moved beyond a mere breakfast beverage with more than half of respondents enjoying it at least three times a day or more. Uh, 12% also cited a great after-dinner nightcap to help them relax and unwind after a stressful day. So to talk a little bit more about how rooibos has become a part of South Africa's heritage, we're joined from our Durban studio by Joe Swart, who is the spokesperson of the SA Rooibos Council. Joe, good to have you. Thanks so much for being with us here on Morning Live. Good morning, Leah, and thank you for having me from a cold and wet Durban. It's great rooibos tea drinking weather down here. Excellent. Well, there you go. Free advertising for you with that weather. Before we talk about the particular survey, can you tell us a little bit of a brief history of rooibos in South Africa? How has it become such a huge part of our heritage? Well, rooibos has come a long way in South Africa. You know, in 1652, when the first settlers arrived, they bought black tea, which is the normal tea, like Ceylon teas across with them. And from there on, the tea-drinking culture started in South Africa. But in the 1700s, um, black tea was very expensive because they had to bring it in from Europe. So they discovered that there was a Feinbos, a legume-type plant, in the Western Cape, um, that the local population used for medicinal uses, and if you bruised it and dried it in the sun, you could make a delicious cup of tea. You know, in those days, it was a poor man's cup of tea um, because obviously it was much cheaper, it was locally available. Mm. And in, 19, in 1772 is the first records we've had of people drinking rooibos in South Africa. In 1904, it started commercially. Uh, traded as a commodity in South Africa, and in 1920, the first rooibos brand was born. Um, and since then, many, many rooibos brands uh, have been born in South Africa. Um, and it was always consumed as like a, a loose tea. But from the 1970s and the 1980s, tea bags became very popular. So m- the majority of South Africans, 90% of South Africans, consume their rooibos in tea bags today. You know, and a lot of South Africans drink rooibos tea. Um, we consume about 8,000 tons of rooibos tea in South Africa, which is equivalent to about 3 billion cups of tea uh, a year. Sure. So today, Heritage Day, we estimate that about 10 million cups of rooibos will be drunk across South Africa. Um, That's incredible. It's become, as I figures. said, it used to be only a breakfast tea. It's an all-day tea at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I love it. And, you know, the thing is, is that we keep talking about it as, as something that we consume here in South Africa. But wherever I've been in the world uh, and everyone hears that I'm South Africa, the first thing they want to do is talk to me about, ha, ah, we've got rooibos. We've got your tea here. We serve it wherever, wherever we go. And they're very, very proud of it. So, you know, it's something that, that has infiltrated a lot of countries around the world. But what I want to focus a little bit on is this... Uh, this poll that you did on South Africans and how diverse the cultures and ages are that enjoy this brew. Talk to us about that. I mean, what are we, what are we looking at? Yeah, we as the South African Rooibos Council did this research um, to find out who's actually drinking rooibos, when they're drinking it, how they're drinking it. Um, we always know it's a very popular beverage in South Africa. But we wanted to, to know more about who's enjoying it. You know, and um, it, there, there were some very interesting facts that came out in this survey. Um, more than 50% of people drink it um, at least three times a day. So it's not just one cup in the morning like I said it used to be. Um, it's right through the day that they drink it. Um, 31% of people that were interviewed said it brings back memories of good times with family and friends. And that's where the tradition and heritage and rooibos come back as well. We can all remember our grandmas, our omas, uh, steeping a pot of rooibos tea on the coal stove. And that's where it all comes from. You know, 70% of the people that we interviewed said they grew up with rooibos. Yeah. So they grew up, you know, from childhood 
drinking rooibos tea. Um, and a lot of people, the majority of rooibos drinkers at the moment, is also drinking it because of its health benefits. Yes, yes. Um, and, you know, there was very interesting studies done uh, in this survey as well about how people drink it. Is it black? Is it with milk? And there the jury's still out. It's about half, half the people said they enjoy it with milk and half um, enjoy it as a black tea. Uh, the interesting part is that 34% of people actually enjoy it with honey, where only 20% people add milk or, uh, I mean, sugar or sweetener. So um, there was a lot of interesting facts that came about on where people enjoy the rooibos tea, how they enjoy it, and when they enjoy it. Yeah. Um, you know, as we said, people <coughs> drink it right through the day. Indeed. And more than 12% of people said they have it as a nightcap yeah. uh, because it's very good uh, for insomnia. You know, it, uh, it, it promotes sleep, so y you sleep very well. There's, there's, it's, it's naturally caffeine-free, yeah. um, so there's no caffeine in rooibos. You can drink it all day long. Fantastic. Well, listen, I think that it's a, it's, a, it's a real brand that we're very, very proud of as South Africans, Roy Boss, and talking about uh, just how big it is and has become for South African heritage, one of the brands that really does shine a light for us when it comes to being exported around the world. And not only to drink and eat and consume, it's also been found in beauty products and medicinal products as well. So it really has got so many uses. Thanks very much to Joe Swart, who's the spokesperson for the SA Royals Council, talking to us about it. Let's take a quick break. We'll see you with uh, our Shop Shop after this.